The structure of turbine. In gas turbines, the turbine section obtains two to five stages. Each stage consists of one fixed row and one moving row of blades. As we mentioned before, the fixed blades are fixed to the casing and do not cycle, but the rotary blades are fastened to the shaft so they rotate alongside the shaft. These stages all together convert the whole pressure and some percentage of the thermal energy of the hot gas into rotational energy and work. The flow of hot gas enters this section of turbine. The design of turbine blades is in a way that it will decrease pressure and increase velocity of the passing by gases. The flue gases after passing through the fixed blades and finding the correct direction with suitable angle will strike the moving blades. The strike occurs in two forms, impulse method and reaction method. In the impulse method, the high velocity hot gases will enter the hollow part of blades from attack edges, then passing across the blades, their momentum will change and then the flue gas will leave the blades from the trailing edge. The reason for the change in momentum is the existence of a force between the blades and the fluid. In the reaction method, the hot gases pass through the two sides of the blades, which on one side, the angle of their curves is more. The difference of the curves of the two sides creates a difference in pressure. This difference of pressure creates a vertical force in relation to the surface of blades.